Yeah, it's Hobbs Horror, knocking down your door, all about the guts and gore, blood and pus, give him some more, he wants bone and entrails spread across the floor, so if you're looking for that theater macabre, bruh, look no more, sit back and relax and enjoy some Hobbs Horror. Thank you for watching Hobbs Horror, Hobbs Horror, Hobbs Horror. Yeah, and don't forget to like and subscribe and all that good shit, 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 Welcome to Horror Cult Exploitation. Today we are going to review a film that was released in 2021, put for distribution in October 31st, Halloween 2022. I want to thank the folks over at NVD Entertainment for hooking me up. I don't know what took me so long to review this. Again, it's one of those cases of me looking at the cover art thinking, you know, it's subtitles, it's a French film, maybe it just won't be for old Hobbs. No offense to anyone, just not huge into subtitles, especially not huge into dubbed over films. But damn, was I wrong. I am talking about the one hour and 20 minute film that gets a 4.1 on IMDb, Super Z. The horror comedy, a French horror comedy with subtitles, Smart Ass Zombies. Just look at this cover art. Where can you go wrong with that cover art? I did. I went wrong with that cover art. As you can see there, not even a real subplot on the back of the, of the film. DVD. Here's a good look at the inside for those folks who like to see the insides, the entrails. Kind of like these guys did in this movie. Super Z, smart ass zombies. Also, a special shout out at the end of this film. So, let's talk about Super Z, smart ass zombies. We have a professor, a scientist, if you will, that is basically taking uh, some cells and creating zombies before they're born. There's four of them, and he is trying to create human zombies. Now, he wants them to be mindless zombies, you know, that will destroy the world and whatnot, but unintentionally things go wrong and they actually become very intelligent zombies and after a while of doing this they grow up and he still has them in his laboratory and they end up killing him because he's doing bad things to them and they finally get loose the family of zombies get loose now they're not actually families and the reason i say that is there are relations between some of them uh which is strange but uh, if they, I don't really know if they came from the same womb, to be honest with you. If they came from the same mom, I don't know. That wasn't really explained. <laughs> but, um, so yeah, they finally escape, these four zombies, and they find, like, this remote cabin. And, of course, the next thing that they have to do, which all zombies do, is they have to feed. So they find a place where there are people that definitely uh, camp out, travel, inhibit the area. So they've got to kill them and eat them. Now, along the way, uh, you get to see them kind of make this place a home. They're having dinner. Yes, they talk. Um, they they make love. Uh, there's two daughters. I'm just assuming the daughters are younger girls there that are just silly and pranksters. Um, and as they kill, they kill abundantly, and the gore is on point. I mean, you see entrails, you see, you see, uh, PP clips, uh, you see decapitations, you see blood being used as drinking, uh, water, you see body parts being made into burritos, and again, this is all comedical, this is a horror comedy, so you can't take it too serious. And their basic premise is they have to just keep killing to stay alive, yet enjoy their home. 
And if you were to turn this movie off, not turn it off, but leave it playing, and then to go turn around and not watch what you're watching, you would have thought this was like the Gremlins. Because the way that they talk, it's almost, they almost sound like the Gremlins or like the Garbage Pail Kids. It's actually hysterical. And one of the zombies is not for sure of his or her sexual preference, so she's trying to to add boobs and things, and it's just, it's, it's interesting, all the, the humanistic characteristics of some of these zombies. Uh, one of the zombies, they end up acquiring one along the way, which makes it a fifth zombie. He ends up finding a human to fall in love with out in the woods, and her, for her and her dad raise sheep, and to get her attention, he jumped into this pile of, like, uh, like flowers, that, like, I guess I want to say, like, um, I don't know, like, uh, these flowers make him look like a sheep. And he starts to call out for her, like, bah, bah, like a, like a mating call. And it was, it was hysterical. Had me dying. And then there's a human head that they cut off that they decapitate, but they bit it first. So the head alone becomes a zombie. So they keep this head in the living room and he keeps stalking. And it's just, it's so funny, man. Um, I'm not normally one for horror comedies, but this is a highly recommended film. Uh, this was hysterical from start to finish. The gore was on point. If you are a gore hound, this is all you. If you like horror comedy, this is definitely all you. Even if you like zombie films, definitely still worth a watch. Uh, the acting was okay. I'm not going to say it was brilliant, but it was okay. I had a great time with this, and when I didn't think I would. Uh... This definitely is one I recommend to Trentry from the Solus Trench Coat and Echo. Echo's been getting into zombies a lot lately. Shout out to Echo. Let's try to get him some connection to this. He's on his way to 200. Uh, also, shout out to Mr. Bones as he's getting close to 900. I think you would enjoy this film as well, Boons. Anyways, guys, that is my review for Super Z Smartass Zombies. This is a really good horror comedy. I'm not for sure how you can find this now. Possibly on eBay or on MVD Visual, MVD Entertainment's website. I'll put the link again into the description. Catch up with y'all later. Have a good start to your week or middle of your week. Peace. Welcome, welcome to the house on the A6 block. I'm just chilling on the porch in my chair. I rock. I'm your host, Jimmy Biggs, with the coolest crit. The only light outside is the full moon red. Welcome, welcome to a world mixed with evil and good. If you ain't plan on staying, then you misunderstood. This ain't a nightmare. The figment of imagination. Step inside in a house will awaken.